when was the last time you gave your bathroom a deep clean? And I don't just mean cleaning down the walls of the shower before you get out, but actually deep cleaning things. For me, it has been far too long, so today I need to get down and give my bathroom a good old fashioned deep clean. I'm Sophie from Sophisticated Organization. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Like I said, today's video, we are going to be deep cleaning my bathroom together. I'm gonna to be going through every area, the toilet, things hanging on the walls, the surfaces, the floors, the shower, the tub. So if you guys are ready and you wanna make sure you know exactly what you need to do to deep clean your bathroom or want a little bit of motivation, keep on watching. So to clean my bathroom, there's going to be quite a few loads of laundry. So that's what I'm going to start with first is washing my floor mats that we have in our bathroom. This was actually one of the main reasons that inspired me to make today bathroom deep clean day. My husband noticed that the bath mats were starting to look a little bit yellowish. So it really was time to wash them. And I'm going to put some oxy powder in there as well as some liquid bleach. They're white. So I really want them to be as white as possible. Next up, when deep cleaning any room, you'll see that I always like to make sure that I'm wiping down the doors, the handles, the baseboards. Here we have towel rods as well as light switches. So when you're normally cleaning, at least when I am, I often forget about the walls and the baseboards and those types of things. So this is more of a deep cleaning task for me to make sure I get everywhere. Now keep in mind, if you have a ceiling fan or vents that are accessible, you're gonna wanna clean those as well. Anything that's hanging on the wall, like this unit that I have right above my toilet, I'm gonna wanna take everything off, give it a nice deep clean and dust. If you have pictures that are hanging on the wall, pull those down and wipe it behind them, collect dust off of the sides and top of it, as well as dusting the front or using a glass cleaner if it's a framed photo that has a glass surface on the outside. As we're working top to bottom, it's time to tackle the toilet. I'm gonna spray it with disinfectant and let that sit while I use my Clorox wand and clean the inside of the bowl. Don't forget to empty your trash, but also just to kind of wipe down the trash can as well. You can completely clean the entire thing and put it in your bathtub and clean it or in your kitchen sink. But I'm just gonna do a little spray down with my disinfectant and make sure that I'm cleaning both the outside and the inside of the trash can. I've been trying to be better about using microfiber cloths when I'm cleaning the toilet. It used to be the one area where I would use paper towels when cleaning just because I kind of get grossed out by it. But now I just use a microfiber and once I clean the toilet with it, then I'm done cleaning the rest of the bathroom. So the purple cloth is now done. On to cleaning the shower, the area near the front of the shower is where my husband keeps his shampoo and his body soap. And there's definitely some soap scum that's kind of collected there. So I'm gonna give that a nice wipe down as well as cleaning off his shampoo bottle. Then to give the rest of my shower and tub a good deep clean, I'm gonna make sure I get the walls as well as the tub basin. A lot of times I feel like the walls are kind of self-cleaning if you just give them a nice little wipe down before you get out of the shower. But the tub I do deep clean on a regular basis because I love taking baths. But because today I'm deep cleaning the whole bathroom, I'm going to make sure I get my shower cleaning solution on the walls and really scrub it down.
Because cleaning and organizing go hand in hand, as you're going through your bathroom, you're going to want to be decanting products, throwing products away that you're not using, decluttering, all of that stuff. Today, I'm not necessarily going to go through all of my stuff because my bathroom is pretty organized already. And I did do an organized bathroom tour if you're interested in seeing that. But if your bathroom isn't necessarily organized, make sure you're going through all of your products and tossing things that you no longer need or use. Like I said, there's a bunch of laundry to do with bathroom deep cleaning, so I'm gonna grab my towels, stick those in the wash, and switch over my bath mats to the dryer. I'm sure you noticed earlier there was a bunch of stuff on my countertop and that's because I put one of my drawer organizers in the dishwasher. I'm just gonna re-affix it to the inside of the drawer using museum gel. I've shared that before. It is the best way to make sure that drawer organizers don't move around when you open and close your drawer. So I highly recommend it. But this is a great reminder, especially if you've lived somewhere for a while and haven't done this, Take all of your products out of your drawers, your cabinets, whatever you have in your bathroom, and give it a nice deep clean. I get so caught up in the middle, thinking of drowning in those blue eyes. I'm losing sight because I am falling. I'm so deep. Now that everything's put away, I can finally clean off the top of the sink. So I'm going to clean the countertop and then inside of the sink basin and follow that with cleaning off the outside of the cabinets. We just restocked on some toilet paper, which has been surprisingly difficult to find again. I don't know what it's like where you are right now, but we had this toilet paper shipped and we were running low, so it was good timing. So today I'm going to vacuum the floors first and then scrub some of the grout and finish it off with a good mop. And I do it in that order because I wanna make sure I get all of the hair and the particles up and then do that grout cleaning and finish it off with a mop of the whole surface. And today I'm using my Casabella Spin Mop. I do really like it. I feel like it gives a good clean and there's nothing like a mop and bucket. And I'm pairing that with the Method Squirt Mop in the Spearmint scent. Eyes, and you can tell me of your lies. I will put out all of the fire if it gets too dark. I took this as an opportunity to also wash our robes. I decided to do the towels first in their own load right after the bath mats because there was bleach in there. The towels are white anyway, so if there was a little bit of residual bleach, it would be just fine with the towels. And I decided to hold off on the robes until after that towel run. 
So if at any point you feel like I've been going too fast or might not have covered something that's in your bathroom, I do have a bathroom deep cleaning checklist that's a part of a printable pack that's on my website where I have deep cleaning checklists for a bunch of different rooms as well as some DIY cleaner recipes and more. So make sure to check the description box below for a link to those checklists. It's time for the finishing touches. I'm gonna put a fresh garbage bag into the trash can and then head back to my laundry area and grab my washed and dried towels and fold those and hang those back up in the bathroom. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and deep cleaning my bathroom. I hope that this gave you a little bit of motivation to deep clean your bathroom as well. And if you're interested in more deep cleaning videos, I do have some in my cleaning playlist, but also if you're interested in a particular room that you want me to cover, make sure to leave a comment below. I will also have linked in the description box below, again, the link to my website where I have the printable pack for all of my deep cleaning, DIY cleaners, and all of that. So make sure to check that out as well. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. And until next time, I will see you guys later.